Hello everyone, welcome back to the Converge to Diverse channel. Today we will be calculating the gravitational acceleration of Minecraft. This experiment will assume the following. 1. Minecraft has constant acceleration. 2. Minecraft has no air friction. I'm going to be dropping 3 items from a height of 50 blocks, which is 50 meters in real life. At the top I have a button that will activate both the command block and the piston. The piston will push the items off the edge. The command block has the command slash time query daytime, which lets you know how many ticks have passed since the start of the Minecraft day. Now you may be wondering what I mean by ticks. A Minecraft tick is the time measurement in Minecraft, and 20 ticks is equal to 1 second. At the bottom there is another wooden pressure plate connected to a command block with the same command. So with the two numbers, I can calculate the difference in Minecraft ticks and convert the result into seconds, giving me the falling time. We will try this experiment with three types of entities, a red sand block, a bone item, and a villager. Finally, I will use the physics equation delta d equals half times a times delta t squared plus initial velocity times delta t. We can neglect the last part of the equation because the entities start at zero vertical velocity. Now that all of the explanation is out of the way, let's start the experiment. The trials with the sand block are simple. Just push the lever and record the time. As the command blocks are precise, all 5 readings came out to be at exactly 64 ticks. With the bone, however, the reading came out differently. Out of 5 trials, 3 were 61 ticks, 1 was 60 ticks, and 1 was at 59 ticks. The fluctuation likely happened because of the floating item placement. Here are the contrasts. One placed as close to the piston as possible, and the other placed as close to the edge as possible. The one closer to the edge obviously took less time to drop than the one closer to the piston. Since we need the time of the fall only, we can use the scenario when the item is the closest to the edge. 59 ticks. All 5 trials for the villager resulted in the same number of ticks as well. I felt bad about killing the Minecraft villagers repeatedly, so I tried to buff them with the regeneration and strength potion effects. But to no avail, they didn't survive. Please feel free to press F to pay respects for the fallen villagers. 42 ticks for the villagers. By applying the numbers into the equation from the beginning, we get 3 different values of gravity. 9.8 meters per second squared for the sand block, 10.4 meters per second squared for the bone item, and 22.7 meters per second squared for the villager. From this, we can conclude that Minecraft's physics does not resemble real life physics. After all, it's just a video game. Hey guys, I would like to thank Dan for giving me the idea to use command blocks to get precise measurements of the falling time. He made this video possible, so thank you very much Dan. Thank you for watching this video, and this was Converge to Diverge.